Hey guys, so I have here my 56 millimeter prime lens that I got not too long ago. I'm really liking it. Everyone that has it obviously loves it. So I wanted to share this with you guys. I'll be making a video about this soon. Probably a few videos about it because I like it so much. In fact, there isn't one Fuji film lens that I've gotten. Not even the weather resistant ones. Just I mean, they're all weather resistant, but I mean like to an extent, but like the nicer weather resistant ones are more expensive. I'm not even talking about those, like these standard ones from Fuji, I really like. So I like, to, I like to protect them by getting a filter for them. I debated not doing this, but um, I think it's necessary because I do this for all my lenses. Uh, this is the B&W filter. Um, it's the MRC Haze, UV Haze filter. And it's a really nice company that makes um, beautiful filters. Um, it protects the lens and it makes sure that it doesn't, it's not intrusive with your pictures, you know what I mean? So you don't want that. So I kind of looked at the lens here and you'll see here that it's a thread of 62 on there. That's what that means, that number over there. So when you buy a filter, you want to make sure that that number shows up on the packaging. 62 and that thread the zero with the line through it, I guess, says 62 on there. That's talking about the thread size. If you get a 56 millimeter lens, 35 millimeter lens, you are not getting a 35 millimeter filter. There's a filter size. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead now and just screw this on. Well, I'll make sure that all the dust is gone, obviously, and then go ahead and screw this on. And you can always take it off. Now you're asking, can you put something on top of the filter? Yes, you can. So this filter is there to stay. So if you sell this lens, or uh, it's going to be uh, keeping its value because you can tell people, look, I kept this filter on. In fact, I'm including it with the sale of the lens. People really appreciate that, especially if it's this brand by B&W, in my opinion. Um, you can try without it, but I say why not have it? It's well worth any chance of it degrading the image. So I like having it on there. Um, it's great for resale value and it's just good for peace of mind most of all. Um, so yeah, anyway, so that's the way it looks. And I've seen really no difference to my eyes when I analyze the picture in my computer later. Hey, I figure there's a lot worse things I'm doing. I'm not doing right when I'm taking pictures. A filter certainly can't hurt. I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.